Hi. Um, what I've got here is it's an automated, more or less, there are some bugs to iron out, uh, minecart station. It just uses the new rails, the powered and the uh, detector rails. It doesn't use any bug boosters. It dispenses carts uh, for the most part and sends them around and if they're empty it will send them back to the dispenser here. Uh, the dispenser is pretty simple design. It just say you send a short pulse to it, that's a um that long? Uh, I, thought this, I thought the pulse was shorter, but it's apparently a four tick pulse. And that powers these on for a short time, so the cart from here falls down into the station. There's already one down there. And the next cart will spin around. It's like a corkscrew. I'm just gonna call it a corkscrew dispensable helmet. Sounds good. Uh, I'll just destroy this so I can show the whole thing. Right, so basically the idea is I'm gonna this is the departures lounge, so to speak. And let's just call a cart. See the lights ticking down. Two, three. And out because I'm at the station. And off it goes. Round, round, back down. Triggers a trick tick on the dispenser. There's a there's a plate here which triggers the same thing that happens if you press the button down in the station. And since there's a cart here, it'll fall down. That's one of the things I want to fix with this system. I, I what I want is that. There's never a cart here, you have to press this to dispense a cart, because at the minute I've just got this manual one hooked up for this sort of situation. So, um, the next situation I want to show is if the cart is empty when it goes, so, well, the dispenser is full, so let's just do it the proper way. So, off it goes. Three, two, one. It's going to go right. Trigger the thing. wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, I haven't seen that happen before. I'm not quite sure. Huh. Okay, the, I think that might have been because of the chicken, but I'm not sure. That is honestly the first time I've seen that. And I'll just load this manually now. You can load it the slow way, but since this is a video, it would be really tedious. So that's what happens if you send out an empty cart. Uh, the next thing is, this is the arrivals, and what I've got at the minute is, if there's a player in the cart, as you saw it goes around here, and somewhere off there in the distance would be this same setup, except a lot neater, because this is an ugly made up as I went to the wrong setup. And this would feed into the arrivals at the other end, but what I, I just looped back on itself to save actually building a second one of these. So, as you saw before, if there's someone in it already, it just um, goes back into the dispenser, but now I'm going to show you what happens if I ride it all the way to there, and I don't get out. Two, one. And it just loops back around to the station. Three, two, one. And back around. So, yeah, there you have it. And if I get out now, it should... Ah, uh, yeah, that's uh, a little problem with these. Obviously, since the speed of an unladen car is... Uh, yeah, that's... I'm going to have to manually fix this. Two... One. Yeah, I got out too early. If you don't get out of the station on this setup, that kind of screws up the whole system. That's one problem with it. And I need a more intelligent dispense that knows when it's full, knows which slots are empty. Preferably I want one that fills from the bottom down, so it can fill in the gaps as it goes. But I'm not, I haven't quite worked out how to design one. I was building a smart one, but it kind of, it, it screwed up. It wasn't very good. So this is what I've got in a minute. I, as you've seen, it works fairly well for what it does, but there are some 
there's a lot of cases where if you don't get out at the right time, it will break. 